Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a class, speed class, if you want to call it that. So today I am actually doing a really special speed class. This is actually going to be a speed class about um, some of my favorite gurus, which are the mobile gurus, the Sims mobile gurus to be exact. So we have Sim Guru Mags, Sim Guru um, Jack, Sim Guru. Ilya, Sim Guru Bertie, Sim Guru Miriam, and Sim Guru Makea. I think that's how you pronounce it. So basically, here I'm actually doing a class video of creating each of them. I have not created them, and I'm pretty sure I checked the gallery and there was none. I'm not sure actually, but um, yeah. So we're starting off with Max. She is the community, not the community manager. She's a part of the like the community association i don't know what they call um she's a part of the co community team so she's handling with a lot of like community based um interaction with the team so she she might even um be a part of the game changer program um she might be uh I need to catch my breath <laughs> She might, um, she might, she also does the Sim TV, which are my favorite series to watch. It's kind of sad that they stopped doing trailers for the mobile world, the mobile globe. But it's also a nice thing where, I mean, we're still getting information. And this time it's much more in-depth compared to just getting a trailer. Especially the trailer is just 30 seconds long and it's not really impacting the game because, um, to be fair, mobile games are kind of repetitive, just saying. So Max kind of make it different and telling, oh, there's actually different things to do. And when you watch the video, you're like, oh, there's actually so much to do, but actually it's just the same. But I still love it. I still love every Sim TV that I have ever watched. Personally, my favorite was the one where she dressed up as Devil um, Patty. That suit Patty, the real Patty, so much. Love the outfit, Max. Really love it. And um, there are news that she is making a new one, and the new one may feature um, some game changes. And I was like, whoa, that's that's a bit too advanced. But I mean, because no, the normal, the usual one, she, she does it by herself. But apparently, she's doing it with other people. And what am I doing right now? So. The Sims are based on, um, they're kind of Sim self, there's a Sim portrait of themselves, but I also kind of relate them to their actual um, look because they have post pictures of themselves before, which I'm really happy. This is actually the first um, set of gurus that actually post a picture of themselves. I know how s some gurus may get self, like, um, self, um, might lose their confidence because, like, one, but I was like, yeah. <clears throat> The hardest one was actually to create was Mikaya because she had, um, she obviously had a human form. Obviously, she's not an alien or something. But then her sim self is an alien, so I was like, not an alien, but like this bluish creature. And I was like, I would do an alien if I had um, get to work, but sadly I don't. So I went with um, Mermaid, but we're still in Max, so I'm not going to talk about that yet. So Max, she loves, she kind of. Her sim self is wearing like this Cheong Sam top. So I was like, um, she can be like, have like Asian kind of clothes. Because I have this feeling that Mix is also slightly Asian. Just saying. I mean, she's from Australia. So most probably because I love the blonde hair. <laughs> I'm weird, okay? <clears throat> Megs is kind of like my favorite because she... She tries to respond to everything. Obviously, she can't respond to everything. But the way how she responds are kind of secretive, but also really cheerful. She really keeps her comments so cheerful. And that's why I kind of get her. I kind of see the traits here. So I gave her the friend of the wall because I felt like she would be a friend of the wall. I kind of thought like she would because she's been so cheerful on social media. So I'm pretty sure she just want to be friends with everyone. Then we have, what's the other trait? I'm pretty sure that's cheerful. Cheerful, yeah, she's very cheerful, honestly. Like, you should see her comments and you'll be like, ah, brings to a smile to your face. She's also a real foodie. Um, the reason why I put this, because um, two reasons is because first is um, 
the her sim self portrait is actually herself eating donuts so I was like yeah she's a foodie <laughs> and another reason is because um in two sims tv both this in fact it was both the sims mobile sim tv and uh, she add food <laughs> I mean she add food off the, I'm pretty sure she add off the screen but like she add food and I was like Oh, okay. And she got the good trade, which I think that's what she got. So now we're working on Ilya. Sadly, I never put... Um, I don't know what trade it is. I have to wait like until the end of the video. But Ilya, I went... I took some attributes. I took his clothing. I don't think I actually owned the pack that his clothing actually had. So I had to choose an alternative. But overall, it looks like the real Ilya, not the sim Ilya. Which, I mean... To be fair, I would go for the real Ilya, but because The Sims Mobile still has some limitation. It's still a new game, so there aren't a lot of things. So that's why I, I thought, um, Ilya, you should go with your real self. Sorry, you need to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, kids. Make sure you have water beside you. Maybe a Hydro Flask if you're a Wisco girl. But yeah. Um, just to remind you also, it's like 11.30, um, at the time of recording this, um, Max's monthly is at 3. I'm not gonna stay up to 3, but I'm gonna sleep and then put an alarm, because I can't stay up. Plus, oh, another thing, another exciting news, Nala is coming tomorrow. If you don't know who's Nala, she's my new dog. I'm so excited. Um, she kind of had an injury, but she, and she had to go through surgery. Luckily, the surgery was successful. And she's coming tomorrow. I'm excited. She's gonna be sleeping with me for the next few days. Um, yeah, I'm ex I'm super excited actually. Um, also, if you hear like a really like weird radiator sound, because that is the radiator for the air conditioner. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm. Oh, we can see he's straight. Uh, so I gave him the family, the family one. I forgot what they call the family trait because um. He, when I read his description on Twitter, he, he, first of all, he loves The Sims, um, 1. No, he was started from 2000, so he considered he started from The Sims 1. And he loves playing with family, so I was like, oh, he's family orientated. He's kind of like an outdoor person. I actually don't know why I put it out. Uh, he loves outdoors, but he's a geek because he loves computers. And in The Sims Mobile, there isn't any tattoos. But in The Sims 4, there is. And when I pay close attention... Max have tattoos. Um, sadly, we can't. The type of tattoos are just too detailed for her, so I decided to avoid putting her tattoos. But I know that Ilya has a tattoo, and I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to um, add ta um, put tattoos on Ilya because like we're in the Sims Four and there are tattoos. By the way, um, Sims Mobile, if you're listening to this, can you please add tattoos? Thank you very much. Um. So where are we? We are in his party where Anna- Oops, sorry about the mic. You may hear some disorder at that section. I'm sorry. Um, he- This is the party where- And he kind of keeps keeping this vase, this vest kind of look. Because like, his main outfit is the vest. So I was like, yeah, he should wear the vest everywhere. Mm. Ilya does wear glasses and his glasses are pretty good. Big. Good. Uh, um... Ilya's like kind of my favorite, but at the same time, he's not. Like he's he he's great, honestly. But um, he's not my favorite. He's in the ranks, but he's not my favorite. Sorry, I'm sorry, Ilya. But here we're moving on to my favorite Zoom guru of them all. I'm sorry, I'm being so biased, but I love his Bertie. I don't know why. He's fun, and apparently. My my feeling is that a lot of people go for Jack, and I'm like, Bertie's so alone in the corner. So I was like, oh, I should support Bertie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, plus the name Bertie. Let me see. Actually, Simger Bertie, if you're watching this, can I actually know if your name's actually Bertie? 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 Because that is a very cute name. <laughs> I have things with cute names. Um, Great, Battery's gonna die. Um, so, um, 
now he says what one is actually really close to him but then i was kind of referencing a picture that they that all the gurus took and like it was so cute it was like um all the the australian gurus which is max Ilya, jack and bertie they were all taking a picture and jack Ilya, bertie were all in like fancy outfits while max came in such a cozy cozy um option so um kind of like uh so i just clicked the reference picture and in that reference picture um bertie's hair was kind of like like spiked up a bit not it's not spiky spiky but just the volume that was volume so i wanted to represent that in the sims because this is the sims 4 which included more items yes <laughs> um so bertie is uh he is a computer whiz because I can't imagine that he will sit in front of a computer and just see all our reports. Um, he's also a genius because he's a genius. <laughs> I don't know why. I think because like he knows how to solve problems really quickly and like it is kind of like in the background like also there. So yeah and then he's also a bro. Wait did I put a bro? Huh apparently I put a bro which I was like hmm. Now I regret putting a bro. Um, but he's also an insider because I can't imagine like he knows like what the player wants and he's like because he reads Bugs reports and like he also um, he's like the associate of director or something so I can't imagine I'm not sure what that position does but what I but from what I see he's kind of like um, what he does on Twitter he kind of just um, taking Bugs and like tell the players about things so um, that's why I felt like it was kind of perfect to give him an insider because he was he also might take information in to like um, give a list like we all players do that we love we love making lists for our gurus and they even though we see them at even though we see the list like ten centimeters long their list is actually ten even one kilometer long. <laughs> So, um, when are we moving on to the next sim? We're still, oh, we're moving on to the next sim. What a coincidence. So here we're making on Jack and I kind of regret his hair because the hair I used was the one from get to work because Jack's hair is long. So I kind of, and based on the image I was using, his hair was like totally slicked back. So, um, the best hair at first I saw the best hair was the one from get together but then that included the like little ponytail at the back and i was like maybe jack will sometime put it in a ponytail because like it might get too hot so like because he also wears a beanie in his sims house i was like yeah that's kind of accurate but then i found out there was another hair that came from realm of magic which is so much better but i didn't use that so but i kind of find this hair also kind of better because the realm of magic one was really like um the texture wasn't that good, so we we'll get to where the other one was a pretty good texture. I should probably stop speaking so fast because this is tiring and this video is like 20 minutes long. I have to pause the video because I was really tired. Um, so anyway, he still doesn't have traits. In fact, I think I remember that I kind of put I um I forgot to put Jack's name, that's how much I forgot about him. Jack is cool. He follows you. He has a lot of followers. More than that, the gurus. Bertie still wins. Um, but he... Um, why? Uh? <laughs> um, I keep forgetting what I want to say. Um, but... I, okay, yeah, I forgot what I wanted to say. I can't remember. If I, if I, th if, I think if I rewatch the video, I can remember. Um... So yeah. So I kind of forget that I also um I put um Jack in a ninja costume for his party wear. Yeah, I kinda just felt like it. Oh damn, I have laundry? Oh <laughs> I forgot that I put my clothes like like I don't wash my clothes. I'm okay, I'm I'm a dirty guy. Um but sadly it's because I have to live this dirty life. My parents don't let me to wash. I mean, your clothes can go for two to three times wash. If you're more than five times, you're you're a disgusting fella. 
Um, I have clothes, which I haven't worn, but luckily, um, they're still around. So, yeah. Uh, we're picking traits. Uh, I have to see this fast, because he's king of mischief, or whatever it's called. Chief of mischief, actually. Uh, we lost the traits. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's like a dance machine or something, because I can imagine him being a dance machine. I don't know why. Um, and something else. There's another two more. I can't remember, but I think it was mean also. <laughs> not, not to say um, Jack is mean. It's just that based on his... No, his activity on Twitter was also quite nice. But based on what I see... Um, what, plus, Jack is actually really supportive. When, when I posted the concept for one of like, the concept I made, like how would clubs, like club events work in The Sims uh, Mobile... And he was like really like giving me feedback and like one and like his feedback was so detailed. I asked my friends and he was like, Yeah, that's fine, it's fine. And a lot of people say, Yeah, it's fine. But Jack was like, Oh, there's so much of details. I was like, Oh, dang. So here we are, making Maria. Um So she oh, sorry about the mic again. I'll fix that. I'm sorry that the mic is just a earphone and it can just fall out from my ears. Um, yeah, so here we are. We're making um, Mary, Miriam. No, this is Makia. Oh my god, I mean, have I been saying Miriam was the mermaid? Oh my god, it was Makia. Yeah, Makia is like really active on Twitter because she also is a part of the AHD. I don't know what that stands for. AHD um, bugs report website. So if you want to report your bugs, probably you might be re you might get a read. From either Makea, um, Phantom, Sally the Cat, Red, or Simmerdown Mel. <laughs> Shockingly, I remember all the moderators. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And she loves pets. And I was like, oh my god, that's like this perfect like cat hoodie. Which I was like, yeah, she can exercise with this. Um, so here we're doing hot and cold weather. No, that was sleepwear, and now we're doing party wear. She's a mermaid because she has like this um, bluish self, and she does have now she, in the picture in her sim self. She's actually wearing a mosquito top, and could you imagine a mermaid wearing a mosquito top? Sadly, no. So I did keep the mosquito top, but then I added on another outfit that had a more natural top, like a much more um a. a, a, a I can speak an uh, actual like top that actually would make sense for a mermaid because you can't who goes swimming with your mosquitoes like dude what the heck but yeah so you can see here um was playing around with the tail and I was like the black tail was so cool the, the tails in this game it's, it's so sad that mermaids are kind of underrated which they are I can agree but the, the tails are beautiful they're so pretty they're so unique they they just wait oh my god the music started playing i got freaked out <laughs> yeah that was bad time music so um yeah so also her eyes her real eyes are kind of brownish if i paid attention to the image properly but um her sim self had blue eyes and i was like those blue eyes would be boring so i gave her like the mermaid eyes which were really cool um yeah. <coughs> cough, cough, sorry. Um, uh, so yeah, oh yeah, she had like the natural, I think I think I left it like that. Yeah, I guess the one was the natural like one. So now we have to see a trace really quickly. She's a pet lover, she loves cats. She um, is slightly lazy because, I mean, the the shape, not, not, not that I should body shame you, but yeah. And she was also something else, ah, I forgot to read. I think she was good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was good. <laughs> and finally, we're on to the last one, which is one of the most quiet of the guru, but the most cheerful one, which was Miriam. She is so quiet. Like, she is located in the, the Salt Lake City one. Is that, what is it called? I'm pretty sure. Um, and she's so quiet on Twitter. She, you only can see her once in a blue moon. And the reason why, I'm pretty sure, is just because she... She's writing a lot of like stories relating to the next Sims Mobile update because you know she, she is a part of the writing team for the Sims Mobile's like um, story system. If you 
yeah it's actually called a story yeah so she's the part of the writing team and she kind of handles with all the writings including search for durian powder which kind of shook me but yeah um so for her i kind of got really tired and i was like you know what just use all the style outfits i don't even care so yeah i kind of get her a lot of style outfits and style outfits kind of match her they kind of match her um kind of like personality because she is her we have traits now but i'm pretty sure i put her um she i gave her the writing inspiration she is cheerful, good, and creative, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. We're putting the traits now. Writers, cheerful, creative. Oh, she's outgoing. So, yeah. But they kind of sense. So, here we are in the screenshots, and I'm going to leave this part here. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Gurus, thank you for watching this.